Hey guys, today we're going to just do a quick unboxing for this conversion kit to turn your RG Gundam Mark II into an RG Barzam. This is from a company called Cute Cube Workshop. This is of course not made by Bandai. This is just a, a Chinese third-party company that has produced this conversion kit. It's just a plastic conversion kit, so no resin. That's pretty cool. A little bit easier to work with, I think. And this, yeah, just basically is going to convert your Gundam to a Barzam. And once again, this is the refined type, or as I think it was Henry, I think, uh, that pointed out to me that this is the Sentinel version. I, Anyway, this is uh, very new, very recent. Uh, my box is a little bit bent there, but otherwise... Uh, this is a pretty cool box art here on the front. It's definitely kind of RG style. I think they changed it up a little bit. Uh, it's usually the, the head there and the uh, mobile suit here. But anyway, definitely still really cool. Let's take a look uh, around the box. It's pretty simple. Just going to have this the title there on the side and some Chinese here on this side. Just the same kind of thing with our cover art. And then the same around there, and the same around there, so nothing really too exciting there. It is a pretty nice box though, everything is pretty solid, sturdy. Here we've got our instructions, but we'll take a look at those after. Here we've got one bag here, second bag, and a third bag, and that is it. Taking a look at the instructions, they're just on this really simple printed paper here in black and white. So no color, sadly, but that's okay, we have everything we need. Um, no parts list either, it just jumps right into the construction. And basically, um, since you are going to be using this kit as a conversion with the Gundam Mark II, you'll just use all the instructions for the Gundam Mark II, and then you'll just have to use these uh, amendments here, basically. So starting off, uh, we're building basically a totally new head, it looks like, and all of that there. Then just a few different uh, pieces we're going to be adjusting for the uh, torso, different pieces on the top of the shoulders of the torso, the front vents and the whole front kind of chest piece is totally different. So here's how we're going to be uh, attaching that on there, all this front piece is going to be attaching onto the Gundam Mark II's chest piece, so you're just going to be plugging that onto there, I guess. And the new collar piece and a new cockpit hatch piece there. And then on the legs, we've got quite a bit of new armor for the legs. The knee and the thigh is the same, but then all around the, uh, the back is the same as well. Looks like the front and the sides are going to be new. The feet are basically all new. Uh, and I really like the feet on this. I think someone was saying the feet are really big, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, they look good. And then here we've got just some adjustments here for the skirt armor. So the front skirts looks like are going to be a little bit different. Of course, it's got that uh, very unique uh, front skirt there. And then the back skirt's going to be different as well. Then we've got a little bit different Vulcan gun here for the head, Vulcan pod. And then we've got this new uh, kind of bazooka or a launcher part they're going to be adding onto the beam rifle. That's really awesome. Ah, here's our parts list. Sorry, I thought we didn't have it. Uh, so anyway, there's the parts list. Looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six runners. So why don't we take a closer look at those runners right now? Starting us off, we do have some water slides. I turned my exposure on my camera way down, so I hope you guys can see that. They, they're they just basically white, printed on white, so it's kind of hard to see. hope you guys can see that okay, but they do look pretty cool. There aren't really too many of them, uh, but just a few, uh, but pretty much just the big markings. The rest of like the smaller markings you could just use from any other set of like 1144 scale uh, water slides, uh, just kind of generic ones. These are just including some Titans logos, some uh, PZ, I forget what that's for, but again, I guess it's from the um, Sentinel storyline, if that is correct. Again, I'm not sure, sorry guys, uh, I'll have to check on that. But again, still pretty cool that we do get some water slides with this, that's good. Here's runner A, and of course we're not going to have any poly caps with this kit as it is an RG and it, uh, this is just the conversion kit anyway, so we can skip that and skip right to runner A here. The um, uh, letters on the tops of the runners here are pretty hard to read. I mean, you can tell that that's an A. Some of the other ones, I had to look at it for a second before I could figure out which 
letter it's supposed to be. Give you an up close look here. You can see that all everything looks pretty good. I mean, there's not a whole lot of detail. I mean, it is an RG, so there should be quite a bit of detail on there, but it looks pretty basic. I mean, these parts here, which I think are like these sides of the ankle armor, uh, like no uh, panel lines or any kind of details on there. And we do have some like uh, sink sinks in there from the molding process. I forget what those are the technically called, but anyway, just the uh, where the plastic is not totally flat, it's sunk down a little bit because of the molding. Otherwise, I mean, the rest of the molding does look pretty clean. Uh, plastic seems to be pretty all right quality. Interesting thing about the A runner here is that we actually have two of them. This was in this kind of uh, dark blue, and then we have one more here in an even darker blue. So I guess you can just choose which one you want to use, uh, just depending on maybe which shade of blue you prefer, the uh, dark blue or the darker blue. Uh, so that's pretty cool that you have that choice anyway. Runner B is just black here. It looks like we've got some parts for the bottom of the feet, the skirts, the chest, and just a couple other parts around there. Once again here it looks like uh, not a whole lot of detail, but the detail that is there does look pretty clean. So I guess that's the important part, right? Runner C is in this nice bright yellow as we've got our parts there for the top of the head and vents and all of that good stuff. Uh, the collar as well. That's the C runner. Here's the D runner. It's just some gray parts. Uh, I guess it's going to be there's some the new parts for the gun and then some like parts for the inside of the skirt armor, Vulcan pod, and inside of the head. And just a few other parts like that. I don't remember exactly about the Gundam Mark II kit, but this gray seems a little bit lighter color gray than the color that's used on the actual uh, Gundam Mark II. So I'm not sure, I'll have to check when I go to put it together, but this seems like it's a lot lighter, so it might stand out quite a bit. Then we have runner E1, just our white parts for the top of the feet, and then two white little vents there, and followed by E2, which is just four little red parts, our cockpit hatch, and then a couple other smaller red parts there as well, and that's it. So that's it for unboxing this conversion kit. Um, not a whole lot of stuff in there, I guess, but uh, a pretty fair amount because we are going to be changing uh, quite a bit of the uh, Gundam Mark II, I guess. So I don't actually have a Gundam Mark II uh, RG kit here at the moment, so it's going to be a little bit before I can show you guys an actual review of this kit once it's all done. I'll try to get that and get it uh, snapped up together as soon as I can to show you guys. If you're interested in purchasing this kit, I would recommend you go through Samuel Decal. That's who I got mine from, and uh, yeah, I, he's always a good seller. So if you don't know about Samuel Decal, you can just go on Facebook and search Samuel Decal and find him on there, and just get in touch with him through email, uh, which is listed on his Facebook page, and you can uh, order this or order whatever you want through there. You can see everything that he's got for sale on his Facebook page. Anyway, so uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments about this, let me know down below. Otherwise, uh, I'll try to get the review for this out as soon as I can. Anyway, more, plenty of other different kinds of videos and other reviews and this and that coming up soon enough. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.